You could come and talk to me if you want to. You carry that back, back in the car. Introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Anza. I am from Captain Yak. Uh, all about promoting the sport of kayaking in Trinidad. So, you know, I try to encourage people to get into kayaking when it's for recreational use. You know, if you want to use it for. Talk louder, it, talk louder. If it is. I try to encourage the youths and anyone who's interested in the kayaking. You know, I try to promote this water kayaking locally in Trinidad because I believe we are an island and we're surrounded by water. Water is, you know, so near to us. No one is really that far from our coast or either from our big river. So, I believe kayaking is something that could grow in Trinidad and anyone who is interested in this sport, you know, I try to get them all info, get them all guidelines. I personally, uh, you know, do kayak rentals and, and sales. Have a little business, Captain. Yeah. So you know, we always try to inform people and get them a, a little deal. You know, see how we can help as best as possible to get people started. And we have kayaks that you know, excel in river usage and you know, sea sea conditions. And you know, if you just want a cool, nice camp paddle, explore a river, take a scenic view. Our water, um, you know, beaches have to offer oceans or seas. Or if you're interested in fishing or even, you know, snorkeling or diving. We have kayaks that, you know, are accessorized or centered around, you know, usage for that. So right now I'm here at you know, San Fernando Walk. Just gonna take a little paddle around, you know, carry out a fishing rod or two. I'm gonna see, you know, if we get a little bite today. And, you know, I'll have my contact up if anyone is interested and want to get involved in the sport. You, know, you can get, get in, in contact with me. What has been your most memorable occasion in kayaking? The most memorable location I have had in kayaking, well, I have one with family, and I have one recently with the flood victims. One with family being, you know, I was able to carry out some family and friends a day, and everyone was able to actually catch a fish. Those who weren't interested in fishing, or, you know, wasn't so privy to really fish a lot, and everyone caught something, and it was just a nice togetherness out on the water, and everyone, it was just such a memorable day, you know. The sun was shining, nice skies, nice conditions. It was just really nice. And then, second memorable time with kayaking. Um, personally, I wasn't kayaking at that time, but you know, some individuals reached out to me with the recent bad floods in uh, late 2018 there. Yeah. And you know, they, they needed some form of transport to be able to rescue or at least deliver goods to, you know, households. So we tried to work out a, a, as best as a, a little package for them and they were able to transport water goods and you know, all the necessities that a boat may not have been able to fit to go through the water or that you know the aid trucks weren't able to go to. So for me, in at least a recent time, that was a more memorable thing. You know, just outside of just the actual sport, but what kayaking could do. It's not just it's a wider thing too. You know, and it brings I believe it could help bring people together and you know it's something that could grow and more people just need to be aware. What has been your most dreadful experience that you would never like to relive or see somebody go through? Well, my most dreadful experience, I would say, you know, not too long when I started kayaking, I went out a good distance in the wharf, off the wharf, that is, you know, out in Tepara, and the, the winds picked up a lot. And, uh, you know, so it, it really come back to 
safety knowing yourself, knowing your boundaries, knowing the situation you're going into, trying to be informed. Um, so, you know, I, I, I went drifting out. I could have waited on the tide to come back in. But at the time, uh, my girlfriend, I told her at the time I would come back. <laughs> so she was expecting me to come back on shore <laughs> because uh, she was bringing some lunch to have lunch. Yeah. So we being outside here, the wind was against us, the current was against us. We were stationary. We just were not able to come in at that yeah. time. And, uh, so she was just a little worried at the time. So I, I didn't I wouldn't like to put anybody in uh, you know in that Put state of mind, you know, mm -hmm. wondering what's going on. But you know, we learn our lessons, we know to observe the weather conditions a little more. And it's all about, you know, practicing safety. And once you have the safety on, mm -hmm. have another Do you teach this art form to other people? Um, when I have the time, and if someone's reach out, reach out to me, I would, you know, work on something where I can teach or facilitate. But I may not always have the time, so I do have um, someone that kayaks with me, a relative, I would normally try to put them on time if I'm not available and someone is interested and, you know, would like to engage in kayaking, but not on their own or not with their own family, but with someone who has been kayaking. You are young and gifted. There are a lot of young fellas your kind of age who are just lining on the block. If you had something to say to them, what would it be? I would say there's a lot of opportunities out here, you know. Maybe where you come from, the opportunities may not be the same, but I believe sports might be a way to get out of your situation. There's also education. So don't think that, you know, everything is done and there's no way out. There is something you can do, not just kayaking, let's say kayaking out of the picture, but any sport that you feel you may excel at, or any trade you feel you may excel at, there's always a way out. You just need to try. You know, persevere. Um, if you need help with anything, you know, any advice, you ask people who could guide you with, in terms of sports that you could try, or you know, maybe trades or career paths you can try. But never give up. Always persevere. And, you know, the light, the light would be there around the corner. If someone is scared of or cannot swim, should they venture into kayaking at all? Well, swimming is a, a big plus. You know, being able to swim. It can give you a sense of security, a, a more confidence, but it isn't a mandatory requirement. Because I myself, I can't swim. Uh, everyone's, I'm still learning. I'm, you know, there's always room for improvement. But personally, as you see, I'm wearing a life jacket. A, yeah. A that's, PFD. That's a must. That's a must. Anyone who goes out on a trip, whether with me or if they take a rental, I always advise, please only go out on your water. With, a uh, life jacket. I provide a life jacket to help facilitate that. You know, we try to break the mindset that, uh, you know, nothing will happen. This is a safe craft. You know, this is not going to flip over. You know, there's always, you know, weather conditions, human factors, things that could play, that could, you know, a situation could, could turn snap. So we always practice safety because even if you're out far for some reason, there's only so far you could swim and then become tired, right? So regardless, you must have on your life jacket. Well, I advise you have on your life jacket, but on your far, it would keep you up above the water mm -hmm. and it would prevent you and keep you from drowning. You just, uh, okay. Okay. Oh yes. Party done. What are you doing? You have experience in it. Right. Saturday has to be in it. You can motivate others now. Yeah, sorry about that. So, yes. you were saying? I was saying about practicing safety mm -hmm. and about mandatory if it is in if it is mandatory that you need to swim. You know, you have to know yourself if you are a beginner, you know, come in calmer water, calmer time, monitor the, the wind, the weather conditions. You, know, you could feel free, we would advise and ask a question areas you could start, you know, so you wanna have the current or the wind to battle against. And once you have on your life jacket and you practice safety, you know, in terms of 
you're, you're not doing anything to impair your physical abilities, whether you know you think you're in water and you want to drink or something. Once you're in a good physical state, you're in conditions that you're used to or you're capable of. And everything is a, a gradual step. In terms of you start easy, you're going to go intermediate water or rougher conditions. It's a safe craft. The kayaks we have have scupper holes, so whatever water comes in, bails out for itself. So the kayak itself cannot be overfilled with water to sink. The kayaks they are fairly wide, so they are not easily tipped over. And they are pretty easy to maneuver in the water to steer. So with that being said, and the safety of the life jacket, Anyone, whether a swimmer or non-swimmer, could get out of me on your water. You know, just take it, take it, learn from, you know, easier levels. And if you want to go all the way with it, with time, no problem. You know, but you have to keep before you walk, keep before you run. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Anyone can enjoy it and, and get involved. So, if one wants to learn the, the learn the art form of kayaking, do you have any contact details you could share with them? Yes, um, you can reach me on Facebook at Captain Yak. I also have an email, info at captainyak.com. And my name is Insaf. Um, you can reach me by cell at 375 7432. Feel free to call or message at any time or reach out at us at Facebook. Okay. If I'm not available or you know, I don't answer immediately, we'll try to get back to you as, as soon as we can. You know, so we, we look forward to everyone who's interested and you know, as much info you need, feel free to call or ask a question. We are about helping people and you know, getting over the fear of water and getting over the, you know, any stigma of, you know, a kayak in the water. Where does that put me? Oh no. But there's so much people kayak all over the world. It's such a huge thing. It's just... I would like to see it grow the same way in our island, just as it's been growing all over the world in America and on different states. And we are surrounded by water. Mm. And you know, we, we have we, uh, yeah, yeah, such, we have a dry season, a wet season, dry season. We have so much nice sun, you know, we have nice weather. You know, we live on an island, we live in paradise. So of course. We like to, to see kayaking grow. As a, okay. a sport, a water sport. Okay, but let's see you in the water. Alright, thanks. Alright. All right, so yeah. Let me just organize myself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Captain Yak. Like you got good story, dude. You understand? Morning, morning. Yeah, taking her. Facebook alone? Oh, <laughs> to Google, YouTube. YouTube, no? Yeah, yeah, YouTube. Thanks. Yes, sir, brother. You doing cool? See that? I good, I good. I'll, 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 I'll leave room for you, so don't worry. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Come yeah. on, yeah. I'll come in and I'll walk up a rod. How long are you here for? What? How long are you here for? I don't want. Alright, so I'll leave my key in your car. What? I'll leave my key in your car. No. That's my opinion. No. That's my opinion. 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 That's my I'm not going to do it. 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 I